This is the plaintiff, Kylesha. She says she foolishly lent her landlord some money and is now having a heck of a time getting it back. They got into an argument. The defendant kicked her out, filed an injunction against her, and refuses to return the $5,000 she now owes her. So she's suing her. This is the defendant, Zamiya. She says the plaintiff pushed her and became violent, so she had to get her out and went to court for a restraining order. This woman then messed with her job, causing her to lose money and is a menace. She doesn't owe this woman a penny because she's the one who's owed today. She's accused of tossing out a tenant. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $5,000 for assault, emotional distress, and defamation. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Ligands have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. All right, Kylesha and Zamiya or Zamiya? Zamiya. Zamiya. So, Kylesha, you see an ad in, the, in Craigslist looking for a roommate, correct? What did the ad? A nanny. She was looking for a nanny, a free room for an, um, a live-in nanny. Can I see the ad that says that? The first sheet and the second sheet are basically the same. Both of them are the same thing, and that's your answer. Can I see her ad that said, I'm looking for a free room the for a nanny? The listing is at the top. I see the words free room for a live-in nanny. Where's the actual ad? No, she could have changed the ad. Who? OK. Do you have the ad, yes or no? I don't have okay, the Okay, so ad. go on. What happens? According to you, you're to pay zero rent and live for free in order to take care of her children, correct? So initially, she was looking for a living nanny for um, a free room. So I wrote her back, which you can see. She responded, we agreed to meet up the very next day. So we talked, the vibe was good. I felt like it was gonna work. So then the next day, I started moving my things in. We ended up staying the night there the very next day. So I wasn't under the impression that was going to be all this drama, but then after I gave her the rent money on the first... What rent money? You were staying for free because exactly. it's free living nanny. So why would you give her rent money? Because she needed help with the rent. So she started telling me about all this, like how they were going to make her do a stipulation, put her on a probationary period, make her pay like an extra $500. I had money in my savings. So hearing her and seeing she's a single mom, I'm a single mom of two too, and I know how the struggle can be. I offered to help, to help. So I helped. I went and got the um, money order from Amscot, and I have the stub for that. My mom, when I told her what was happening, she said, don't you dare give her the money in her hand. You go yourself to Amscot, and you get the money order, and you keep the stub. And I'm glad that I listened because I have yeah, the proof of this. Listen to your mother stuff. every once in a while. And that was that money order was for twelve hundred dollars. It was for twelve hundred. Okay, go on. We had spoke. She was trying to do like a daycare service where like she watches other people's kids, and that was cool. I didn't mind. We had spoke and we were in agreement that I would help her some. Like if she had to watch a child and if she had to leave for work, I would cover the hours that she wasn't going to be there. But then I went to sleep after coming home from work and I got messages from her about my girls and the baby gate. So I asked very- Wait, wait, let's slow down a second. Now, you work what time to what time? I work from 11 to 7 or 7.30. Okay. And your kids are very little, and they were going to be asleep in the house, and who was going to be taking care of them while you were working midnights? We had agreed that she was going to be watching my kids while I worked overnight. And were you paying her for that? So initially, she didn't ask. I offered. Because again, me just being extra, I see she's a single mom. So what did you offer? Good. I offered to help her $400 because you would be saving me $100 a okay, week. Okay, so according to you, there's a verbal agreement where you're going to pay her $400, but just, the $400 is only for her watching your kids. Exactly. All right, and then what happens? You have this fight. Tell me what the fight's about. So then I woke up to a message about my girls messing with her baby gate, and I asked who was messing with it and a what were they doing. A baby gate that barred the kids from going where? Into my room and my it's daughter's not, area. Where is she? What do you my mean your daughter's area? My newborn, she has a crib set up in a solarium. It's like now, a sunroom. At sun the time room. of that all this was going on, the baby wasn't even born, right? No, no. I just, they were climbing on the on her bed. So I No, wanted, but I'm saying you were no, the baby nine wasn't months born. pregnant. I was, you I were like pregnant, about yeah. to pop. All right, and then what happens? Tell me what happens next. So after that, it, it ensued to the next day. Like this, I don't care what you do with your child's crib. 
I was asking because how do you want to have a daycare service on top of the four kids that already live there? If I'm going to help you with this, which I don't mind doing, the crib is not in a safe space. Who am I to say that it's her child? But I was just thinking logically, like germs from the other kids. The and then noise. you called her. I mean, I called her. Okay, yeah, that's where things broke down. No, it's not, the logic part is phenomenal. You're, you seem to be, you know, kind of right if she hadn't notified you that the Solarians were the baby. I don't really care. She didn't. But the bottom line is, then things broke down because you called her the B word. No, things had broke down before then because she was being very hostile Okay, with you tell me. me your perspective of how this discussion went that day. So that day, that was probably my third or fourth time asking her to keep the kids out that's of that area. Correct. So that's where maybe, the- maybe, I can't have you just shouting out while she's talking. So maybe that's where the hostility in me came from because I was tired of asking her to keep them off of the, uh, out of that area and out of my room. What They'll time of there. day or night were the kids doing that? Um, around that time. So it's a Saturday and it's the middle of the day. Yes, I was on my way to work that day. Okay, who's watching them? So she was home when I got home from work, okay? So I was under the impression that she was watching them. So when she left, she took her kids and my kids were still there, but- Yeah, but why aren't you watching them? I was sleeping, I had just I know, worked but, the okay, eight hours well, well, In a perfect world, what would have happened? She would have gone to your room and woken you up and said, I'm leaving, you or, gotta watch your own kids? Or maybe, so I would do that for her. Like, I didn't even know that she was leaving. All right. So, so now, you, according to you, what happened? So that day, we were texting back and forth, back and forth. It went on, it went to the next day. I stayed at my mom's that night because I didn't want to argue. I didn't want to go home and have to argue. So that night, she texted me and said that she was moving to Tennessee with the girls to be close to the family, and she needed the whole 1200 back. I told her, you, you're not going to get 1200 back. You're going to get so, so hold on. Because according to you, 400 was rent. Yes, she, she Now, when you put the ad, do you have a copy of the ad that you put in? Yes. On Craigslist? Yes. Okay. I am looking to rent out a room bathroom in my tutu. It is not a furnished room. I am a nursing student. I do have children ages seven, five, newborn. I am in search of a short-term roommate, three to six months. I do have a sunroom. I use the area for my newborn room. Let me know if you would consider this arrangement. Your room is on the opposite side of the apartment. I would like to rent it out for 650 a month. I'm also willing to charge 400 for the room if someone could keep my newborn for five to eight hours a day for four days a week, preferably a woman. All right, so I have a copy of the ad that you say that you put up. This is the only copy of an ad I have. And this copy of the ad doesn't say that, that it's free rent. It says it's 650 a month, but I'd be willing to charge 400 if you can keep my newborn for yada, yada, yada. Is, was this the ad you responded to? No way. According to you, she was supposed to pay 400. She gave you 1200, why? Yes, so she um, gave me 1200. I, she's loaning me the 800. And the 400 Why? was for her rent because I was, I was short on rent. So okay. I needed help and she needed help. So I thought we would work. We both were going to help with child care. So it's not like she was, she yeah, was no, to get Both of you rent. believe that this is going to be Mary Poppins. We are the world. We are the children. Everybody's going to get along. But you don't know each other. You right. have no idea if this is going to work. It's your two little kids and her two little kids and your newborn, which you're about to pop. And then it's all this hostility and anxiety that you did not appreciate. You got to sleep at your mother's when you're nine months pregnant with two kids. And then she doesn't appreciate it. She sends you a bunch of texts that appear to try to make peace. And I think at that point you were just rubbed the wrong way and you didn't want to make peace. But it's complicated because now look at you. Now you're still living there. Has she paid rent again? No. Okay. Now, the argument happens over the kids, which I don't, who, who knew? Who knew that having two more kids in the middle? <laughs> what, now I got an idea. Why don't we add a daycare to this? And more personalities that don't know each other and don't know if they can live in peace. Okay, and then what happens? Between that time, she had sent me some messages, give me my money, otherwise you sleep. The police was called. Otherwise you sleep. Otherwise you sleep. What that does otherwise you sleep mean to, to me, you? That sounds like death. Okay. Otherwise and what does otherwise you sleep mean to you? So I have the messages in the context which I wrote it. And I read them. Okay. And you tell me what otherwise you sleep means. You tripping. Like when you say, girl, you sleep, that means you tripping or you out of your mind. Like how are you going to want me to leave? I just gave you $1,200. I don't know. I don't know. I think 
A. Option A sounds. Option A sounds good to you. I don't know. It's slang. I'm. It's slang, but I I gotta tell you, sleep doesn't sound like a slang. Like you tripping. It sounds like you're dead. I didn't say otherwise. I'll put you to sleep. I said otherwise. Well, okay. So what happens? You call the police. I thought that I was threat, and I called the cops. They defused the situation. Okay. She said she wanted her money, and then she'll leave. She insisted on leaving before the month. I told her you can stay, because you already paid the rent, and I still owe you the eight hundred dollars. If you want to leave before the month is over, that's on you. All right. So she is not taking care of your kids. No, I didn't feel comfortable at, after that. And then she is not taking care of your kids. No. Right. What is everybody's plan? I'm so curious. I, I, I had my. I talked to my you sister. In fact, about you this. have a counterclaim against her for assault because you yes. went out. Then you get a restraining order. I got order a restraining order after that threat. Saying that she assaulted you. How? No, it was after the threat. And then he, the, the judge so, wanted to hear more information. Okay. And then there was a court date set, and what happened? We were supposed to appear, and she didn't know, so they didn't see the judge. I didn't get to see the judge. I went home. There's a naked man on in my living room. What do you mean a naked man? She's massaging room? a naked man in my living room. What if I would have had okay, my but kids hold on. with me? Is there a massage table? Or is There's there a, a massage table, but why, t why be in the living room with that? Take that to your room if you're going to do that. Have okay. a stranger in the house. Okay, were your kids in the house? No, okay. but if I would have brought my kids, that would have been a surprise right. okay. to see... All but there, when is, we walk in. All right, so go on. That was disgusting. Okay. So he ended up leaving because we got into it. I was just like, whoa. So I'm walking towards my room, and we start arguing because she's like, I didn't know she was going to be there. How did you not know I was going to be here? This is my apartment. I live here. She's doing all this in my face, rah, rah, rah. He's not here at that, at that point. So she's shoving me. How, I what is shoving my room, you mean? On my shoulders right here. Her hands touch your shoulders and push I'm you. sick of you. I go in my room and I lock my door. She's beating on my door while I'm on the phone with 911. They get there and she made a statement. I made a statement. I have the police report. I have a question though. So How can now I let's move to the next issue, which is lost wages for five days. It's really helping your case, your demeanor right now. Perfect. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. Would you ever do business or should you do business with your landlord or your roommate? Definitely not. Why? Because if business goes bad, you're stuck looking at them every day. Fair enough, but at least you know him, right? You may not know him that well, just That's because you're your, your landlord or your roommate. Would you do it? No. Because? It's too close to home. Close. If the business Literally, goes yeah. bad, your landlord can put you out, or your roommate may stiff you and leave. Fair enough, you're lying. I agree with everything. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if you get in trouble with them, you don't want to have to go back and face them. face them. You don't do certain stuff where you eat. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Private thoughts. Going inside the courtroom. Money's for lost wages for five days. Tell me about that. So, in the initial ad that I responded to, I made mention that I would need her to watch my kids overnight in order for the schedule that she was trying to set up with me watching her kids during the day to work. Because she wanted me to pick her daughter and take her to school. All right. And I would, oh, hold on. I would, however, need to know if my girls would be okay sleeping there while I was at work overnight. Otherwise, I'd drop them off at my friend's house and she would watch them. Meaning I would leave my girls while I went to work and she would watch them so I wouldn't have to drive 20 okay. minutes. All right, this is a recipe for disaster because what you said was, can my girls sleep there? That doesn't mean, you know, you watch them, but it should but mean that I'm because they're four and two. So explain to me the lost wages for five days. Well, since we had the agreement that she would watch my kids, I let my original sitter go and then when all of this started to happen, I was talking to my sitter and I was trying to get her to come back, but she declined. So because of that reason, I didn't really have adequate childcare and I was basically relying on hope. So you want her to pay you lost wages of $390 because you couldn't find somebody else to give $390 to who you knew just as well as you knew her and actually go to work. All right, now you're also suing for groceries and, and then you eating out. What would that be about? So I brought food. I remember one time specifically, I had brought milk, sausage, and eggs for my daughter because I was going to make her breakfast. We left that day. I came back the next day. Same thing, going to make my daughter breakfast. The milk, the eggs, and the um, sausage is gone. And then some days later, I went grocery shopping to get snacks, like little beef jerkies, cheese and crackers, the Go-Gurts. I came back, the boxes are still there, but nothing is in the boxes. All the snacks out the box left the boxes in the Were cabinet. Were you doing that? No. 
Where'd they go? My children probably got to the Gogur, but we don't even drink cow's milk. So no, we're not eating your food. I get the my own entire... food. All right, tell me about the, you're, you're also suing for $321 <laughs> for monies for food for going out to eat. It wasn't just the Gogur, I would like to point out. It okay, was but I, I can't go snacks. more. We, we've gone into the Gogur oh, as God. much as I'm willing to go. Now let's go into the monies for food that you're suing for, 321 Okay, because I can't buy groceries to leave at the house because they keep coming up missing. So I have to constantly eat out. I have to constantly eat on the fly. I can't cook meals there. All right, so, and then $1,000 for harassment, $1,000 for emotional distress, and $1,000 for pain and suffering. I think we've gone through most of that, but I is there something else? Yes, the days that I would be coming to the house, there would be chairs behind the door, like she's trying to barricade me from the apartment. Okay, were you barricaded out or were you able to get in? I was able to get in, but there's okay. still chairs behind the door every day. Then one day, she put dirty dishes on top of my daughter's items. Yeah. Did you put the dirty dishes on They're her not door? dirty, they're her pots they and pans from in the kitchen because she she's not really staying here. She'll come some days out the week and my, so, my door will be unlocked. So yeah, I put the chair there so I can hear when it's being open. Okay, what about the dirty dishes though? Did you, did she leave them in the sink and then you put them in her daughter's No, room? I didn't touch any dirty dishes. That's what I do. I, when I, I, my, <laughs> if my children leave dirty dishes, they're in their bed. But she <laughs> leaves the house idea. like this. I have pictures of how dirty she leaves Now, the let house. me ask you a question. You have a counterclaim for $5,000. You want $2,000 for the assault. Did you call the police? Yes. Did the police arrest her? No, because no. okay. I didn't have a witness. Um, you want $1,000 for emotional stress. Tell me about your emotional stress. Well, there's no, I don't feel safe in my apartment. She'll come in and she'll leave the door open and she does it every time she that comes. She'll leave and leave the door unlocked. Okay, let me tell you how this works, folks. Each side have the burden of proving to me by a preponderance of the evidence that it happens your way. So based on what I have in front of me, this is how I find. I find that there was an ad the only ad that's been placed in front of me that wasn't for a free nanny, because you can fabricate just like okay, she can. Okay, so I'm, I'm and done. And you want to walk out? You're, you can walk out if you like. Go ahead, so I can finish ruling. You want to walk out or you want to no, stay? No, I want to hear the ruling. You're oh, right. Okay. All right. I can't believe that she just lied okay. here. Okay, if you want to hear the ruling, you're going to be quiet. And if you say another word, you're going to walk out. That is how it works. Now, I find that there was an ad and that the ad was for 650 or watch my kids and it's 400. I find that she then loans you some money. I find that at that point in May, there is a debt of $800, okay? Because I find that this was a rent situation and that the price break was for 400. Now you go out. Bye. When she says that, oh, that's not what it was. It was free nanny. She has provided nothing to me to prove to me that that was the arrangement. Now we are in June. She has not paid any rent for June. So now you owe her only 400 because 400 is due for June rent. As for all the other things everybody is suing for, as far as I'm concerned, you're harassing and annoying each other. And this needs to end. If you guys want to live like that, that's fine. But you're exposing your children to living like this, which is horrifying. My net verdict of all of this garbage going on between you two is that you owe her $400. You understand? Yes. Any questions? No. Okay, good luck. Well, after a very interesting case, the plaintiff obviously left the courtroom. She's out of the courthouse. Uh, the defendant has just come out of the courtroom. What do you think about what just happened here? Um, I'm just glad it's over. Mm. This was a lesson learned. I'll never <laughs> rent a room out again. I mean, that was really quick. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, immediately you did it. Yeah. That was a big mistake. Yeah. Right? I... Big question is, what's going to happen now? Because she's still there. You're going to go home from to this courtroom, being... and she's going to be there, maybe. Hopefully she, she moves out. I, I don't know. If but she I mean, doesn't, she... I'm going to leave. I will have to break my lease, and it's worth it. What do you think when you go home today, though, and run into her? What do you think will happen? I don't know. I hope nothing happens. Wow. This is not a nice... I hope she's nice, packing her stuff when I get home. Not a nice situation. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, Harvey, what do you think about this? Okay, Doug. I mean, look, if there is a, a deal that attaches to a rent payment, you got to specify what that is. If you don't put it in writing, you're asking for trouble.